In a week that was supposed to be OpenAI's shining moment to show off what is likely the future of how humans will interact with computers, they have been absolutely marred in drama. And based on what's coming out of OpenAI right now, I'm actually a little bit scared of OpenAI as a company. And I'm going to show you why. Top executives have left with either no reason at all or really calling OpenAI out on the way out. So we're going to review all of it together today. So a quick recap, if you didn't see this week, OpenAI released GPT-4.0, which was really an incredible demo of humans interacting with AI in a completely new way, a very personal way, completely through voice. And I've made multiple videos about it, so be sure to check those out. I'll drop them in the description below. So as a repost to a tweet of one of their head AI researchers, Sam Altman congratulated him, but then said, what I hope will turn out to be a revolution in how we use computers. So this really was a very big deal for OpenAI this week. But the question is, and the question that's been on people's minds for months now is, where is Ilya? Ilya Sutskever, the co-founder, the head of AI research, where has he been? And a bit of history before I show you what just happened. So late last year, suddenly on a Friday, Sam Altman was fired by the board of directors of OpenAI. It was huge drama. And then by Monday, he was rehired. And the reason he was fired was not obvious for a while. But a lot of people figured out that Ilya Sutskever had seen something and then went to the board worried and helped them fire him. But it didn't work out. The entire OpenAI company rallied behind Sam Altman and a few days later, they rehired him. And since that moment, there has been tension between Ilya and Sam, even if they didn't admit it, because Ilya essentially tried to get rid of Sam Altman. And of course, if you come at the king, you best not miss. You come at the king, you best not miss. And since then, we have essentially heard nothing from Ilya, not a peep, not a tweet, not an article, not an interview, nothing. Absolute radio silence. And Sam Altman has done multiple interviews in which he was conveying that he thought Ilya and OpenAI would continue to work together. But we all kind of thought that was never going to work because how can you continue to work with somebody who just tried to get you fired? The trust had been broken. There was no mending that relationship. But now we know what happened to Ilya. And then just a couple days ago, we finally heard from Ilya. Here's the tweet. After almost a decade, I have made the decision to leave OpenAI. The company's trajectory has been nothing short of miraculous, and I'm confident that OpenAI will build AGI that is both safe and beneficial under the leadership of Sam Altman, Greg Brockman, and Mira Marathi, and now under the excellent research leadership of Jacob Pachaki. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. So Jacob is taking over for Ilya's position as a leader on the research side. It was an honor and a privilege to have worked together and I will miss everyone dearly. So long and thanks for everything. I am excited for what comes next, a project that is very personally meaningful to me about which I will share details in due time. So with nearly 5 million views, this was the first time we had heard from Ilya since that boardroom drama months ago. Now, a couple things to note here. Sam Altman was making it seem like Ilya was still at work at OpenAI, but most likely, and what I assumed was he wasn't. They were just trying to figure out the legal side of things, how to talk about it, what to do with his shares, what to do with everything else involved in his contract. And at the same time, he was likely working on something else, and now we kind of see he was. So we don't know what it is yet, but if he already has a project that he has called personally meaningful to him, then he certainly has been working on something else in the interim time period. And as soon as we know more, of course, I'm gonna share it with you. And then he quickly tweeted this photo after of Greg Brockman, Ilya Sutskever, Sam Altman, Mira Marathi, and the new guy, Jacob. And so this was his very watered down, very corporate speak tweet, but not all executives left with, let's say, grace. And I'm gonna show you that in a moment. And Sam Altman put up a post about it as well. Ilya and OpenAI are going to part ways. He's saying they're parting ways. Ilya says he's decided to leave. It's probably somewhere in the middle. This is very sad to me. Ilya is easily one of the greatest minds of our generation, a guiding light of our field and a dear friend. His brilliance and vision are well known. His warmth and compassion are less well known, but no less important. OpenAI would not be what it is without him. Although he has something personally meaningful he is going to go work on, 
I am forever grateful for what he did here and committed to finishing the mission we started together. So again, referencing that he has something that he's already working on and he's going to go work on, and I can't wait to find out what it is. I am happy that for so long I got to be close to such genuinely remarkable genius and someone so focused on getting to the best future for humanity. Jacob is going to be our new chief scientist. Jacob is also easily one of the greatest minds of our generation. I am thrilled he is taking the baton here. He has run many of our most important projects and I'm very confident he will lead us to make rapid and safe progress toward our mission of ensuring that AGI benefits everyone. So before I move on to the next executive departure, I wanna talk about this for a second. Ilya most likely saw something either in the direction of the company or some kind of scientific discovery within OpenAI that scared him. He went to the board, he tried to warn them and they tried to fire Sam Altman and then you know what happened, it didn't work. So there is something going on within OpenAI where a lot of leaders are disagreeing with leadership's direction. And now that Sam Altman is back, now that he is king again, there's really no challenging his authority within OpenAI. They've basically forgotten their open roots. They are no longer a not-for-profit. And so Sam Altman really has all of the political capital right now. And one last tweet after a retweet of this picture, Sam says, feeling the AGI today with a blue heart. So I don't know, it all feels very corporate speak to me, like they're not really saying what's actually happening. We all knew Ilya was going to leave. Why didn't we talk about it earlier? That's fine, whatever. But now let me show you something that is not corporate speak. Jan Lakey, a machine learning researcher co-leading super alignment at OpenAI, optimizing for a post AGI future where humanity flourishes. He says, yesterday was my last day as head of alignment, super alignment lead and executive at OpenAI. Now, this is another person who has AI safety as his key directive at this company, and now he's leaving, and he literally calls out OpenAI for why he's leaving. So let's take a look. This came out an hour ago. It's been such a wild journey over the past three years. My team launched the first ever RLLM with Instruct GPT, published the first scalable oversight on LLMs, pioneered automated interpretability, and weak to strong generalization. More exciting stuff is coming out soon. I love my team. I'm so grateful for the many amazing people I got to work with both inside and outside of the super alignment team. OpenAI has so much exceptionally smart, kind, and effective talent. Now, that's where the corporate lovey-dovey speak ends. Stepping away from this job has been one of the hardest things I have ever done because we urgently need to figure out how to steer and control AI systems much smarter than us. I joined AI because I thought OpenAI would be the best place in the world to do this research. However, I have been disagreeing with OpenAI leadership about the company's core priorities for quite some time until we finally reached a breaking point. And I suspect this is likely the reason Ilya went to the board to get Sam Altman fired, and it is also the reason Jan has left. I believe much more of our bandwidth should be spent getting ready for the next generations of models on security, monitoring, preparedness, safety, adversarial robustness, super alignment, confidentiality, societal impact, and related topics. These problems are quite hard to get right and I am concerned we aren't on a trajectory to get there. So one of the top leading minds in AI security is worried that OpenAI is headed in the wrong direction and not thinking about AI security enough. Over the past few months, my team has been sailing against the wind. Sometimes we were struggling for compute and it was getting harder and harder to get this crucial research done. Struggling for compute. Now, OpenAI has a tremendous amount of GPUs. So the fact that his team, the security and safety team, has been struggling to get the resources they need is insane to think about. Microsoft has given OpenAI carte blanche on using Azure, and they're building out new data centers specifically for OpenAI, but yet the safety and alignment team couldn't get their resources. Building smarter than human machines is an inherently dangerous endeavor. OpenAI is shouldering an enormous responsibility on behalf of all of humanity, and again, I couldn't agree more. However, that was the point of them being open. Open source is so crucial, yet open AI is closed AI. That's the meme and it's completely true. But over the past years, safety culture and processes have taken a backseat to shiny products. 
And let's look at this week. This week, they showed off what was an absolutely insane demo of the future of how humans and artificial intelligence will interact with each other. It was beyond anything that I had even imagined was possible right now. But they didn't talk about safety, they didn't talk about security, and apparently they are de-emphasizing that and instead heavily investing in these shiny new products. We are long overdue in getting incredibly serious about the implications of AGI. We must prioritize preparing for them as best we can. Only then can we ensure AGI benefits all humanity. So OpenAI's mission is that they get to AGI and that they make sure that AGI benefits all humanity. So he's specifically calling out OpenAI's mission, but he's saying you can't reach that unless we prioritize preparing for that. And it doesn't seem like they're doing that. I know Sam Altman doesn't really directly have any shares of OpenAI and he's not quote unquote going to get rich from OpenAI, but that's probably false. And he's probably seeing the big impact that OpenAI is gonna make commercially and he's prioritizing that. OpenAI must become a safety first AGI company. This is such a crucial quote. That means that OpenAI is thinking about getting to AGI and the commercial use cases, or even non-commercial use cases, but certainly not safety first. Now this last reply from Jan is probably the most scary. To all OpenAI employees, I want to say, so he is directly calling on OpenAI employees, learn to feel the AGI, act with the gravitas appropriate for what you're building. I believe you can ship the cultural change that's needed. I am counting on you. You're my only hope. The world is counting on you. OpenAI heart. So this is really concerning to me. The fact that the head AI safety researcher doesn't think OpenAI is prioritizing safety. So if he's leaving, who else is gonna be there to actually make sure that the culture is in place to prioritize AGI safety? Ilya's gone, Jan is gone. What are they gonna do? And we end with the meme, what did Ilya see? Every day I wake up and think, what did Ilya see? So he must have seen something, did not like what he saw, and now he left. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.